Just familiar. What is up? Okay. I'm playing against Zug Rules from the US. Let's see if we can do better today than the last couple days. Pinning the knight, I believe, is the play here. Okay, he decides to push. Just gonna push up. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to remember. I think eight bishop h5 is the play here. If he wants to push up, we just fall back and then create an escape square. But I'm gonna maintain the pin here. As far as I remember, if the opponent plays h3, it's kind of good to play h6 to tuck the light square bishop off and then just trade off on d3. If it ever comes down to that. But I think h6 has to get played. Yeah, so I was kind of expecting this. I think we might just have to trade. We might just have to trade off here. Maybe I should have just taken the knight. Yeah, I think unfortunately we're just going to have to open up the h file here. I'm expecting knight h4 here. Uh, if he pushes h4 with the pawn, I'll be shocked. I don't play this very often. Usually I'm used to just trading the queen off here, or trading the bishop uh, off for the knight and getting the uh, opponent to put their... That's so interesting. And getting their opponent to put their uh, queen on f3. That is so, so interesting. Well, he just let me make an escape square. I've never seen anyone play bishop f4 here. It's really different. Hmm. That's very different. I do need to be careful here about c5. Because if I go c5, he can always give me the check, and I can only block it in with the knight, which is slightly annoying. Uh, maybe that's not the end of the world. My knight's going to have a really hard time getting out to f5 here. Hmm. Maybe I'll just have to play... Knight d7 or something. And my knight really has nowhere to go after e7. I think I have to push c5. I think I'm just going to go knight d7 first. Just so I don't get caught off, off guard by the check. Excuse me, my goodness. This is kind of still okay. It prevents his bishop from coming into play and his knight from coming into play. I think best case scenario, he just does, yeah, that, exactly that. I'm actually totally okay with this. Yeah, this is totally fine. Makes it a lot easier. So now only his queen can come over here to b5 if I push c5. Queen b5, maybe? Yeah, 
Yeah, he's really weakened his uh, king side with these two pawn pushes with h3, g4. So, and then locking his bishop in here is, was interesting. I think. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. He's protecting that pawn pretty nice, but. I do have the nice capture here on the d-pawn. I could always push it up too. Pushing it up is, is definitely an idea. Attacking the queen. Yeah, I don't know. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Is it better to take on d4 or push c4 here? Like attack the queen or just try to fight for the d4 square? Not really sure what's best here, honestly. Um. Hmm. Interesting idea. I think I'm just gonna. I'm gonna try c4. Yeah, I don't know if that's the play or not, but. Hmm. I need to castle myself. Don't really want to bring the uh, dark square bishop out to here. I guess I could bring him out. No, I can't really bring him out that way. It's a bad trade. Hmm. Can't even trade off on h4. I guess the only good thing about his g4 pawn is that it kind of prevents any knight of 5 business. Maybe this c4 wasn't the play. Maybe just taking here was better. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Well, I gotta start moving the knight. He attacks c4. Hmm. This is an idea. Getting the knight out onto c4, I feel like, would be pretty good. Hmm. Going for the pawn break, I'm not sure. I'll just go for it. Why not? Maybe this is bad. Maybe it opens up his uh the file for his rook. I don't know. Maybe that's not the play. Yeah, now he has the open file for his rook, which is probably less than ideal. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think c4 was actually not the play. I think I should have just taken d4, the more, the more I think about it. Yeah, because this pawn's going to be annoying now. Yeah, I'm kind of regretting that. Oh well. The position of these knights is really bad. I feel like he has this knight move and it's going to be really good for him because it'll force me to trade off the dark square bishop, which will be annoying. I think he's playing this pretty well. I think if I could go back, I think I should have just taken pawn on d4. Yeah, pawn on d4 probably would have been much better. 
I'm really curious to see what the engine says about that. But he still has like a really weak king, I feel like. Because even if he castles queenside, he's going to be exposed from like two directions. And if he castles kingside, he's just going to be really exposed along the diagonals here too. These ones. So, I don't know, maybe it's not the end of the world. I'm like 99% sure he's going to go over here to g6 next. And that's going to be pretty annoying. It's going to ruin my kingside castle too. Don't really want to take back with the f pawn. But if he's willing to give up... If he's willing to give up a knight for a pawn, maybe it's not the end of the world. I think f6 is actually like a decent move here too. Just breaking open his center. I'm really surprised he did that. Maybe this is good for me. Hmm. Let's just castle. Kind of want to push to a6. So we can get the rook involved as well. I think f6 needs to get played at some point. I have essentially one, two, three, four pieces attacking or attacking or defending, pointing towards f6. So maybe this is a good time to break it up since he still hasn't castled. So maybe like f6 is kind of my way to start harassing his king. Maybe just pushing the pawns up as well. Yep, don't want to do that. <laughs> I was thinking like queen b6. He's got two defenders there. If I go in for the pawn, he's going to come out ahead. Yeah, I really want to push f6 for some reason.
Let's look at the board from his perspective and see what maybe he could play here. I don't think castling would be so good for him. Hmm. Honestly, think his best bet is just to hurl these pawns down the king, down the king side, or like at the castled king. I honestly feel like that's his best bet. And just trying to use this open file to his advantage. I think that's what I would do if I was in his position. He read my brain. Yeah, part of me wants to just stop this altogether. So I have to go harass him somehow. I think I have to retaliate and like fight back this way. I'm just going to try of six. I think it might be a mistake, but I don't know. I just feel like I have enough coming down this way that it should be okay. He can really only reinforce with the G-pawn here. <clears throat> But yeah, I think I'd like to go after his e5 pawn. That'd be ideal for me, I think. Oh, you spent four minutes on that move? Zug rules, you're hired. <laughs> That's something I would do. <laughs> Welcome to the team. Yep. So, I have to make a decision here. He's got three defenders. On the E pawn. But he also has three defenders on the G pawn. Two, three, four. I think I have to go after the G pawn. Oh, or maybe taking with the F pawn is better. His his knight is hanging here. Or it's loose, rather. So my rook could take it right away. If he recaptures with the pawn. Hmm, that's really tough. I think I'm gonna go this way. I know normal wisdom says to like take towards the center. But I think it in this case it's actually okay. Yeah, so he does go and defend that, which is good. So we could Almost trade off here. And I could just take his pawn too. Hmm. Could go pin his knight. That'd be kind of fun. So if I go pin his knight, if I take, he takes this pawn. Yeah, I think he's going to be like forced to move his queen back and then maybe I can just take this knight. I guess he has to figure out like what's more valuable. Hmm. Yeah, if he doesn't protect this, I'll have a really deadly fork here. I'm just going to try it. I'm just going to try to listen to my gut for once and just take it. His queen is the only thing right now that can protect these. I mean, I guess he could use his king too, but his rooks can't come in. His pawns can't come in. His bishop can't come in to help. 
So I think he has to choose like which one of these knights he wants to lose. I think it's better for him to lose this one because of this fork coming up. Yeah, because if he goes if he goes and protects, oh, he protects that way. Okay, well that's that's good too. That's good too. Hmm. Maybe I just take here now. Oh, and I've kind of just thrown away a uh, defender on there. Maybe I could attack his knight this way. Where can his knight really go? Hmm. Attacking the knight is kind of interesting. This knight is still pinned. I don't think I have a way to pressure that. I'm going to try this move. It seems okay. My queen's position is like really bad at the moment. Okay, now I can't really defend that. Mm. Uh, that might have been a blunder. I guess I could push my pawn up and defend that. Why is knight's in, in a terrible spot now? Maybe his best bet is like pushing the pawn to f3 or something. If I take, he takes back with his knight, and I can't really do anything with my rook here. Hmm. Maybe I go for this pawn. That'd be kind of interesting. The h4 pawn, unpin the knight. He's only got one defender here. I don't think he can add another defender unless he moves his knight away. Yeah, no, actually, he could just move his knight, but then I just take with the pawn. And then I still could win the pawn as well. I don't think that's the end of the world. Yeah, I was expecting that. Yeah, so he basically just brings his knight back. Hmm. I don't think I can reinforce that anyway. And I want to get his queen off of this square. It's, it's really annoying there. Hmm. I just can't find a way to break through. Taking here. I think I'm fine to take. I like the position of this pawn. Just stopping his rook here. I think I have to get like these pawns into the mix or something. Oh, 
one, two. Yeah, I'm just drawing blanks here. How do I break these pawns open? Just gonna start moving stuff. This would be a pretty sick square to get a knight on. Yeah, actually, I think if maybe I just swap the position of this knight and this bishop, that would be pretty sick. I'd probably see it coming, but you never know. Yeah, I think next move will probably just go bishop e7, knight b4, and then just try to look for this move here. c2, knight c2. I think that would inflict some pain here. I feel like because this position feels like pretty closed, I think the knight's almost more valuable here to some degree if it can get onto the right squares. He's playing pretty good though. I mean, he's he's playing really well. What can I say? He's defending all his pieces really well, so. Maybe I go for the triple stack here. He wants to trade off. <laughs> um, I think he just blundered. Yeah, I think he just played a really big blunder. Yeah, that queen was really critical in protecting this knight here. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like he still had a really good chance um, because... I don't think the advantage swung that far as a blunder. Oh, taking the knight. Yeah, this queen was basically the only protector for uh, both of these knights. I feel like this one was more valuable. Um, yeah, this seemed like kind of just like a desperation move. Um, so like what, uh, what would I have played here? If I was in, in his shoes. What would I have played? Uh, this sack doesn't really make sense to me, by the way. Oh, never mind, never mind. I think the arrow was just on the wrong frame there. Um, okay, so what could he have played here instead? I feel like at this point he could have just castled queen side honestly but let's just, let's see what the uh castle king side yeah i think he should have castled the lines the rooks up 
And then after, he could have made some kind of knight move or something. But um, I just want to see something instead. If I would have went here, that's a really big swing. <laughs> and then 92. Okay. Wait, why does the engine recommend 92? Oh, 92. Okay. And then if I would have went here. This is not so bad, is it? Wow, he actually has the advantage here. Okay, never mind. Hmm, never mind. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I was trying to play. Sorry, 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 let me go back. I meant, I was saying go here. Okay, 92. And then I was saying go here. And then, yeah, he'd probably be forced to move his queen, I imagine, to protect C2. But, uh, okay, yeah, let's see the game review, but, um... Just take it from the top. Okay, so far book moves. Okay, this was the right move. Okay, so taking the knight here. Taking the knight, yep. I, I should have listened to my gut on this one. Um, This would have simplified it a lot if he just got his queen onto f3. It kind of got complicated when he got his pawn out here to g4. Um, Yeah, but I think I kind of got lucky. Uh, I think his next move should have been playing knight h4. I just want to see what the engine says. Knight c3. What does the engine say about... That is so bad. No way. Oh, right, because the queen was defending. Durr. <laughs> I thought this was kind of a poor move, if I'm being kind of honest. Or is it? I don't know. I guess all I'm saying is that I feel like at this point, his bishop would have been more valuable on this side. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. I couldn't quite figure this move out. Yeah, I wasn't really sure about that one. I wasn't really sure about that one. That was a mistake. Black has the advantage. Going straight for the knight. Uh, so basically just pinning the knight there. Fair, fair, fair. See, I thought about pinning his knight, but it's like his knight was not really attacking anything in particular. I mean, it really just had the option over here to go to like e4. Um, or like b5, but how valuable are those squares really, you know? So I wasn't quite sure. You missed the only critical position, only move in a critical position. What was the move? Oh, bishop b4, just pinning the knight. Hmm. Okay. Uh, good to know, I guess. This is a mistake. Hmm. Man, so getting the bishop out was like so bad, huh? I'm surprised it's that bad. Oh, there was one other move that I wanted to go back to. Either pushing up to c4 or just taking on d4. Okay, so it kicks the queen, which is not like the end of the world. But what does the engine say about just taking on d4? Uh, it gives white quite the advantage here. And he just recaptures with the knight. I see. Bishop c5. Oh, c5, really. I'm surprised. And then what? Castle's long. Hmm, I see. Okay. Well, I guess I got lucky in this case. I pushed c4. I was having a really big debate between d4 and c4, but it looks like I kind of got lucky this time. Let's get back to the position here. Okay, so pinning the knight here was good. Really? I actually thought this was a really good move. Really, because he takes here? But doesn't this just win a rook? I don't understand. 
I don't understand the analysis here. Why is that so bad? Yeah, I don't get it. I mean, now he's forced to, what, move his king? Okay. I mean, where else can his king go here or something? I, I don't, I honestly, I truthfully don't understand why the engine is recommending for the pawn to take here on g5. Uh, let me see. Okay. I don't know. I felt like the queen d... Uh, what was it? Queen e3? Made way more sense. But maybe someone can correct me if I'm wrong there. But uh, at least at this level, queen e3 seemed to make a lot more sense. I also didn't understand, like, sacking the rook here. Oh, I guess it's to play this at some point. Oh. It's like, yeah, but even then he can just protect. Oh, I see. So even if he... Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, moves like rook f3 are just a bit beyond my comprehension at this level. <laughs> It's too much for my 850 elo brain to comprehend. <laughs> Just being honest. Yeah, I wasn't quite sure what to do here. See, in cases like this one, where the best engine move is to sack a rook, I'm almost never going to play that. Unless it's really obvious. Like, in this case, it just... It just wasn't obvious to me. So I think the big idea here that the engine is going after, if I'm trying to understand, is that this knight is really valuable in protecting these two pawns, especially this d4 pawn. And this knight has a lot of potential to cause threats here. And it's also blocking the queen in from the c file. So I think that's the big idea with sacking here. I think if he said, like, let's say he had a rook out here on an F1, it probably wouldn't recommend that. But just removing a defender from this D-pawn seems like a big deal in this case. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to understand. It's very hard for me to find those types of ideas, like, during the game. Because I'm just trying to play soundly. Um, and then, yeah, it was kind of all over after this. So either take the knight. I felt like the fork was a bit better here. But yeah. But yeah, cool. GG. Zug rules. Appreciate the game. See you guys in the next one.